Well, hello everyone. This is Grace at GB Maltese, and I have something I'm really excited to show you today. I was reached out to by a company called All Dashing, and I love doing my nails. I'm just no good at it. <laughs> and they asked if I would like to receive some products to show, and I'm like, yes. Please, I cannot, I cannot do nail polish. It looks like a two-year-old did it. So I was excited to do that, and I have these different nails um, that they let me choose. And on the back, you will see the instructions on how to put them on. And they also have a video on their website to show you how to put them on. So we're going to find out just how easy that is. I've watched the video. I have read the back of the package. And it looks easy enough. It really does. So we're going to talk about how to do that by following these instructions. I have decided I want to put these on because I like blue. And on their website, they have all sorts of nails. They're gorgeous. I will be having to go back for more, that is for sure. And I'm going to have a code where you can buy one set and get the next one at half off. Or, if you'd like, because if you order $25 worth, you can get free shipping. If you buy three sets, you can get one for free. So you buy two, you get two half off, which would equal out to being three, buying three and getting one set for free. And the code is GRACE50, and I'll put that link below, and also the link to their website, and the links to the nails that I'm going to show you today. The ones, um, these are called Bear My Soul. Aren't they gorgeous? I love that. These are called Wine. I just love all of these. They're gorgeous. And you can look on there, and I looked for the short sizes. It, it When you look at things and you look for uh, more information on them, it gives you all you need to know. I didn't want anything real long. I'm just not too good with long nails. So, look at all of the things we get. Okay, you get an emery board. You get an orange stick to push your cuticles back and you get a prep pad nail prep to make sure your nails are clean and dry you also get these 24 adhesives because you can reuse these nails when you take them off you've got these and you can use these same nails again the first thing it, that you need to do is get your nails prepared which I did. I've already filed them. I've pushed the cuticles back and I'm going to use the prep pad which is like an alcohol pad to clean them off. But I'm going to do that right before I put these nails on. Now what you have to do is find which nail fits which finger. And you want to make sure you do not get one that's too big. You want to if you try uh, a nail on, for example, this thumbnail, okay, this little tab that you see goes to your cuticle. It goes down this way. That's going to be pulled off soon. Uh, this is too big for my thumb. It goes way over the nail, nail bed. So that's not going to work. Another thing, these are soft and flexible, and they're so lightweight. They're they're really feel nice. So what I'm going to be doing is trying to find which nail fits which finger. That still feels a little bit large. And I'm going to come back and we're going to put them on because you probably don't want to sit and watch me go through that. So I'll be back in just a minute and I'll show you which ones that fit my fingers. Be back. 
Okay, I have my nails picked out, and this is from my left hand, this is from my right hand, and these have little numbers at the top. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. And what I did was after I picked it out, I wrote down the number. My thumbs are number two, my index is a seven, my middle finger is a six, a ring finger is a nine, and my pinky is in a size 11, which is the smallest. There are 12 sizes plus your accent nails. So you have plenty to choose from. And these can be shaped and resized. Um, I'm thinking maybe I could, for some of these, I might need to take a pair of scissors and cut down the sides. That's something I might try playing around with, but these are the sizes and these are reusable. I'm going to start with my smallest finger so that I will have my main fingers to use. And what you do, remember, this tab goes to the back, but before we start, looking at the instructions, it says to wipe each nail. So you have two pads, so I'll have one for this time and one for the next time when I want to use it. You could um, use any alcohol wipes if you run out. Okay, so I'm going to wipe each of my nails off carefully. You want to get any dirt and oil off so it has a place to stick. Um, any kind of adhesive isn't going to stick to oil. <laughs> to oil and dirt if you've ever, you know, when you're using tape. Ooh, this smells nice, so I'm not sure what they have used. But you can use alcohol, whatever. That does smell nice. Must be maybe some kind of nail polish remover. It smells good. Um, I've already pushed the cuticles back with, I have a, a cuticle pusher, and these, well, this can also be used to remove the nails, and I'm going to wear these for about a week, and I'm going to come back afterwards, but let's get them on first. Okay, the next step is to peel off the film and align it under the cuticle carefully. So you want to kind of do this at an angle, I'm guessing, so that you can push it up under the cuticle, which I've done, and go down. Oh, that was easy. And then you want to hold this for about 15 seconds. Two, three, four, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. Okay, you know what? That feels nice and firm on there. Yeah. It looks nice. Ooh, I like this. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other small finger. Again, I'm going to push it up under the cuticle. Like that. That's like so. Can go down. Push. And we're going to press this down. And it says not to wash your hands for at least an hour after you've done this. These are waterproof after you've done this. In fact, I'm getting ready to go to bed after I do this. I chose, to, uh, I like to do these kinds of things before I go to bed, after I've taken a shower, I've done all I need to do with getting my hands in the water. So this can get set in real well. I won't have to worry. I go straight to bed not worry about getting nail polish all over the sheets. So here we go again. Put this up under the cuticle and push down. And oh well, this is so much easier than I thought it was going to be. I was, I was kind of <laughs> wonder, worried about doing this but wow. This is, wow, that's easy. These feel nice. And you can also, and I'm trying to, and kind of hold my hand at a weird angle, so it makes it a little bit harder to do. Um, so let me, whoops, don't, 
I'm being fumble fingers now. And notice I'm going from my smallest to my largest. Again, up under the cuticle. Kind of push it up to the cuticle. And you want to do that because your cuticle, when it starts growing out, um, this just gives it where it's not going to get um, that growing area out too quick. So. I, so far, I'm just really impressed with how easy these are to put on. You can file these to any shape that you like. Um, I'm not used to having nails that are squared off, but these actually look pretty nice. I am very impressed. Yes, I am. Um, yeah, I am excited because these are so much easier than I thought they were going to be. Get this up under the cuticle. Go down. Press. Okay. Make sure that's on there just the way I want it. If they were a little bit too long for you, um, you could probably take clippers and, and clip the ends off a little bit and then. file it down. Okay. Make sure that's round all the way around. Okay. That is looking good. I'm going to finish putting the rest of these on. You've kind of seen what I've done and I'll come back. As you can see I have them all on and I have filed them to the shape that I wanted. and. I didn't finish filing this one down, so you can see, you can, I just put these on just a few minutes ago, and I'm able to file it right away. And it's very easy to do. I've never been a squale, squale, square nail girl, so I had to file it to the shape I wanted, and I can see that these are going to be really easy if you wanted to clip them. If you thought, uh, you know, maybe. And, I'm, and I use the smaller ones, the smaller one here to get up underneath the nail a little bit. And yeah, it works great. I love these. So far, I am loving these. I will be back in a few days to see how they have been holding up, how, if they're comfortable. So far, it doesn't feel like there's anything on my nails. I mean, they're so light and they are beautiful. Look at the shine. These are gorgeous. I love them. Oh, wow. I've never had a manicure like this. This is beautiful. And another thing, um, these I think can last one to two weeks. I'll come back in a few days and we'll see how they wear and I'll show you how to take them off. Um, very simple to, to do. Another thing, you're not having to use glue. You're using this special adhesive so it will not harm your nail beds, which I am thrilled about. I think, I think I'm really going to like these. We're going to see, like, I... You saw me just put them on just a few minutes ago, and I've filed them. If I need to file more, I will. I'm not used to my, I can't get my nails to grow this long, so we'll see. We'll see how this works out, but they're gorgeous. These are gorgeous. Again, I'm going to put the link below. This is All Dashing. Look at this one. I can't wait to do that, to use this one. I wanted to, to try this one first. I thought this one might be easy. I, th I think they're all going to be pretty easy, but they have some gorgeous ones on their site. And then there's this. They're really pretty. They have some really pretty ones on there. And you see how easy it is. You can file these right away and get the shape that you want. And um, if you wanted to clip them, whatever. If you wanted to add 
your own little stickers or little stones or whatever, you could do that also. You can do whatever you want to on these. These are so cool. And they're re reusable, which I think is really nice. Waterproof. So when I go to wash dishes, I'll let y'all know how it is when I'm cooking and washing dishes and all of that fun stuff. Um, remember, you can buy you can buy a set and get the next one half off. And these, I believe, were nine dollars and ninety cents for one package, which you can't beat the price. That is fa fabulous. It really is a good price for the quality of these nails. Um, I, I couldn't believe that I could file them like that and get the shape that I, I was thinking. Mm, I'm not really sure, but it did. It worked perfectly. I love these. Oh wow, these, these are cool. I'm excited to see how they wear, and I'm going to let you know. I'll come back to give you the update on all that. Um, I'll remind you again, my code is GRACE50. That's just my name and 50. Uh, you could buy two pair and get two half off because if you spend $25, it's free shipping. So, I'll be back later in a few days and we'll see how these look then. Until then, bye. Okay, I'm back. And I put these on last Friday, and now it's Thursday evening, a little after 6 o'clock in the evening, and I wanted to, you to see how well they held up. None of them popped off. They still look good. Look nice. Nothing happened. I washed dishes in hot water. I washed my hands a lot. Um, the only one that's kind of loose is this one. If you press on the tip, you can see how it lifts up. Now, if I wanted, because the others are still doing pretty good, if you look at that. I mean, they are doing good. You don't see any lifting. Just a little bit on this one. I, I use these two the most. I've typed on the computer. Um, and if I wanted to just replace those two... I could use these. You take these nails off. You take this. Um, you decide which one fits your nail the best. You pull the sticky off and you put it on your regular nail, not on this, and press it down to make it smooth. And then you put the nail right back on. But today we're going to take these off because I want to try one of the other ones out. <laughs> this one has a rounded tip, the other was square. If you remember, I filed them off. So, I'm excited to try these. Let's see how they come off. This is the method I'm going to use. You can use, you can soak your fingers in warm water, use nail polish remover. I've decided to use some cuticle oil just to give my cuticles a, um, a nice little moisturizing massage. So, I'm going to put just a drop and I'll rub that on there. I'll go ahead and do each one just to go ahead and put that on there and just kind of rub it into the nail all around kind of loosen everything up. I have put lotion on my hands. I've, I've done all sorts of things. Alright, the next to get them off you're to use you can use this orange stick. So I've seen people use tweezers. You go, okay, you want to come down here at the base. Don't go at the top. You don't want to pull at the top of your nail. And then just start pushing up under there. Okay. And it's starting to loosen up. And then you can just peel it off. Okay. Um, there's sticky stuff still here and on my nail. If you want to use this nail again, you can get tweezers or something and you just clean this nail off. I'm not going to do that right now so you don't have to sit and watch. Um, this, that cuticle oil, does a pretty good job getting that off. You can also use, you can buff it off. It'll have to take a little bit more to work on that. 
And let me just pop a couple more off and then I'll do the rest and come back to you. Okay, as you can see, the index finger, not much left on that one. Very easy, very easy. I was wondering how this is going to be, but you just come from the side, get it up, and it peels right off. Just comes right off. The nail beds are not damaged in any way. Let's see. The accent nail here. The accent nail is a tiny bit thicker than the others. The one thing I can tell you, these are nice and flexible. They feel like my nails. It never, it didn't even feel like I had anything on my hands. The only thing was I'm not used to my nails being that long and that took a little getting used to but otherwise it was so easy. Okay, look at that. I'm going to take the rest of them off. I'll be right back. Okay, they are all off. My nail beds are in perfect shape and I am so happy about that because I've never tried press on nails before. I was afraid they'd ruin my nail beds because I have very brittle, easy to break nails. Look at it. Did, it didn't do anything to them. Very happy with that. A couple of tips that I'd like to remind you about is when you put these on, make sure you get that cuticle push back. You use um, alcohol swab. Use nail polish remover, whatever, to dry those nails out. And make sure when you take this, you get it pushed up into that nail, into, the, into that cuticle as far up as you can. I think that's the secret to keeping these on without them getting stuck in your hair. Mine never stuck in my hair because it didn't grow out. I could have worn these longer, but I want to try some. I want to try another one. Now the inside needs to be cleaned. I think I might use warm soapy water to wash it off just to see, but uh, these came out perfectly. I can use these again. As you can see, these are reusable because they come off easily. They're bendable strong didn't feel like I had anything on my nails I'm getting ready to go use my coupon code grace 50 to order some I know I will get at least four packages because I'll buy two regular price and get two half price and I'll get the free shipping 20 if you spend over $25 you're gonna have free shipping so I hope that this helped you. If you have any questions, please comment below. Which ones do you think you would purchase? Do you like any of the ones that I showed you? I just love them all. They're beautiful. And dashing, do you all all dashing is where you need to go. Alldashing.com. It's gonna be like dashing through the snow. <laughs> but uh, they are. All of them are dashing. They are all beautiful. So, this is all dashing. The nails are gorgeous. Do not hurt your nails. And they will, I can attest, they will last a week. Probably longer. Um, I was ready to try something new. So, go check them out. I will put my coupon code below. I will put links to the ones I have uh, down here. And um, I will put a link to their website. So go check them out. Talk to you guys later. Bye.